Uh, I'm with David Cutts here at the S&T stand here at IBC 2012. Uh, we're going to hop around a bit and do a little bit of a tour of what they're showing. David, starting with the S&T Player, S &T tell us about player. that. Yes, s and Player is uh, a deployment application for MHEG Interaction Channel, which is specified in the UK and various other places for um, Freeview sorts of um, environments, Freeview, FreeSat, um, both of those have implementations of MHEG Interaction Channel built into the specification. So um, what we've got here, for example, is a S&T Player video on demand application. Um, this is um, a thing called The Space, which is available on both Freeview and FreeSat, um, which enables customers to look at essentially very long tail um, content on demand. This particular content is provided through the Arts Council and is sort of arts, some of which is as interesting as John Peel's <laughs> old records yeah. and some of its newly recorded yeah. versions of Shakespeare from the Globe Theatre okay. this summer. Yeah. And so there's a whole, whole number of things. I can just move, um, you know, I, I can go down and select yeah. the genre um, and, and then go and select a piece of content gotcha. um, and, and have it go and play. Yeah. Um, and this is just streaming video off the internet. In this case, it's, it's streaming it yeah. from the UK. Right? And so this is live on yeah. air. Yeah. Um, and then we have a um, new plans to take this product yeah. and extending it into pay TV operation and more sophisticated advertising supported operation. Um, let's get rid of this because it's um, distracted. Um, um, uh, and we've got a joint venture now. We've set up with a, um, with Simple Stream and Vision 21 a joint venture called Synapse, yep. which will provide service of stream channels, video on demand, pay services uh, in in the UK, FreeSat and FreeView environment. So that's just started um, in the last few days. Just been announced now. Okay. Brilliant. And we're going to go and have a look we'll at some other areas. Have a look at the next thing. Okay, okay. let's go. So we've just moved over to another area. What do we have here, David? What do we have here? Well, we have more MHEG, another MHEG application, which is called MHEG Presenter, and it's a, it's a data-driven information publishing system. And what we've done is wrapped this up to create a little mini broadcast station that you can put in a hotel. Um, so the hotel takes in Freeview channels, and you add an extra channel, which has got some video and a lot of specific hotel content yep. that goes with it and that's delivered to a standard Freeview TV yep. with MEG inside. Um, so that's pretty easy then. Yep. Um, you're in a hotel room, you see this and you can navigate through, through things and you can see, um, you can hear my phone ringing and you've got information about yep. services yep. in the hotel. Um, and that's all based on a quite sophisticated MHEG application that we've written and deployed, plus all sorts of other infrastructure that we put into the hotel, including an RF output that all sits there, and the whole thing is managed in the cloud, so a hotel can acquire this sort of stuff from a very low cost. So this, this is an example which is deployed at the Holiday Inn in Stratford near the, near the Olympic site, um, but there are many others going out through the country and in NHS properties as well for example. Excellent David, now I believe we're going to go and have a look at one more place. We're going to have a look at something else, yes. Thank Let's you. go there. Uh, hop three on the s and uh, stand tour. David what do we have here? Okay well the, the introduction to this is as follows. If, you, if you've got a second screen device whether it's a, an iPhone or an iPad or a whatever or a laptop um, and you want to synchronize what's happening on that with what's happening on the screen yeah. Um, on the TV screen, yep. then you need some data in the right places to do that. Yep. Okay, and what we what we have here is a little demonstration of what happens if you can provide that data and integrate into the system yep. appropriately, and you can also listen to that data in the broadcast yep. in a way which enables you to sync up the the PC or the tablet with what's happening in the broadcast. Okay. Right. So what we're looking at is. Um, a whole series of little vignettes yep. from Escape TV yep. um, about different places in a, in a, in America, yes. 
this is targeted at America, yeah. really. Um, and then um, that's um, this is a, a little pre thing about Lake Erie, on Ontario, yeah. and on the on the PC screen, all yeah. of a sudden appears a little bit of data about Lake yeah. Erie, Ontario. Yeah. Right, and as that changes, the data on the screen changes. Yeah. So that's the demonstration, and then if you can imagine that can be used to synchronize content on the PC with um, adverts or content in the program or news clips, all sorts of things can be, you're, you're creating some synchronicity, yep. which is really quite important in making these second screen things work properly. Brilliant, David. Well, you've shown us a lot. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm sure people want to find out more. If they do want to find out more, is there a website that they can go to and find yes, this all it's, out? It's um, www.s-and-t.com. Um, and or if you're at IBC, we're at 1B30. David, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, going to have a look at their website. Link is just below me, uh, and you'll find out all the information you need about everything that they offer. Uh, of course, everything that we've been doing here at IBC, you will find on our website, which is broadcastshow.com.